The International Day of Education, observed on January 24 of every year, serves as a global reminder of the fundamental role that education plays in promoting peace, development and sustainable societies. Speaking on the theme of this year's event, which is Learning for Lasting Peace, the wife of the Ocean State Governor, Mrs. Titi Lola Adeliki, stated that education remains an important weapon against intolerance, ignorance and violence as it empowers individuals to understand, respect and cooperate with diverse communities, building bridges over walls. Mrs. Adeliki maintained that without inclusive and equitable quality education and lifelong opportunities for all, countries will not succeed in achieving gender equality and breaking the cycle of poverty that is leaving millions of children, youth and adults behind. Education, be it formal or informal, is a bedrock of development anywhere in the world and remains a strong pillar of support for everyone desirous of reaching the pinnacle of success in life. Other speakers at the program, such as Olori Temitope Ogunwusi, Dr. Mojisola Aino, Chief Yomi Otubela, Fatima Ada Ishako, Mrs. Olufunke Otunyemi, among others, admonish students to shun drugs and alcohol, remain focused on their education, and ensure they acquire skills in their areas of passion and interest. They noted that learning combined with skills will give financial freedom and helps in carving vices that can destabilize societal peace. Kids, so that you can achieve it. Gone are the days that before you finish your university, job is already waiting for you. Nowadays, even with your PhD, some people are still more looking for a job, they are looking for employment. In a world facing a variety of challenges, education emerges not merely as a beacon of knowledge, but as a transformative force that can shape a future characterized by enduring peace. As students, you still have a very plain sheet. You are writing on it. I admonish you, don't write rubbish. The speakers also admonish the students to harness the power of innovation and digital literacy, shun all acts of violence against a girl child, and speak out whenever violence is being perpetrated in their homes. At the end of the sensitization program, the wife of the governor, through her NGO, Imoli Ocean Development Initiative, offered free training to about 400 students who will be acquiring skills in areas such as fashion designing, tie and dye, shoe making, beaded slippers, and hairdressing, among others. Oluchi Amuda, OSBC News.